I was John Shields of the John Shields Cooking Channel on YouTube. And we're going to be making one of his dishes today. And we've decided to collaborate on a couple of recipes. I'm going to be doing one of his, and John will be doing one of mine. So today we're going to be making a ginger chicken sesame noodles dish. It's in his 10 minute meals videos. This is a meal you can make in 10 minutes. So I'm going to get started. I got uh, oil heating here, and I'm going to start with the aromatics. This is a red onion. Put that in. John also has a Facebook page, and that's also under John Shields Cooking. Onions going. This is my kind of recipe. It's easy to make, it can be made quickly, and it tastes great. It's uh, an easy weeknight dish. So he and I agree on a lot of stuff, and making easy, good tasting dishes is one of those things. He's kind of new to YouTube, probably about a year or so. He's got some fantastic videos out and on his Facebook page also, you should check him out. And I'll have the uh, URL down at the bottom of the screen and also in the description. And this is chopped ginger, about uh, a couple tablespoons. Put that in, give us a stir. Okay, this is not John's exact recipe. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. One of the things that we're gonna add instead of brown sugar, is that we're going to use some of our Aloha honey. We're going to try the hibiscus honey in lieu of brown sugar in this recipe. And we have some matchstick carrots. We're going to put those in. So it is. Get all our aromatics going. So the carrots will give it uh, both some color and some texture. They're going to cook a little bit, but not a lot, because this is a 10 minute dish. So we're going to add in our chopped garlic, about three or four cloves. Give that a stir. I'm drawn to John and people like John from a cooking standpoint because we have the same basic philosophies. We're not gourmet cooks. We're just trying to do some fun stuff on the on in the internet, make some good recipes, have a little fun. All right, let the garlic go for about a minute or so. Give it a little, a little more of a toss here. Now we're going to add in our chicken. As most of you know, I love chicken thighs. I think they're, they have a lot more flavor. And one of the first things we're going to do is a little salt and pepper on them. Just put them right in. And we want to cook these along with the aromatics. And get all the pink out of the chicken. So as we let the chicken get rid of all its pink, we're going to go ahead and make our sauce. So the sauce is pretty simple. We've got a third of a cup of water. Put that in. We've got soy sauce. Sesame oil for the sesame noodles. And in lieu of the brown sugar, as I said, we're going to use our hibiscus honey from Aloha Honey. See how that tastes. We're going to whisk this. Now we're going to check our chicken. Just about ready. It'll continue to cook in the sauce, but we just want to make sure we don't see any pink. Alrighty. So we'll go ahead and add our sauce. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, Charlie, I thought this was sesame noodles with the ginger chicken. And it is. Let's go ahead and get our noodles in. So I'm going to suggest that everybody get what's called stir-fried noodles. You don't want, for this dish, for a 10 minute dish, you don't want noodles that you have to soak or you have to pre-cook. We just want to throw them in. So these are very pliable. Just going to toss them in. And they're going to absorb all the flavors. There we go. Pick them up a little bit. And these will, like regular pasta, will just continue to cook and absorb flavors. 
All right. These noodles cook in no time. That's why it's a, both a 10 minute dish and you really don't want to be uh, soaking noodles or pre-cooking them. These are like fresh pasta, just cook right away. All right, so to serve, very simply, I'm gonna get some of our noodles. Turn down the heat. Get some of the chicken. Mm, smell the sesame. All right. Move there. So, to serve, very simply, we've got some green onions, chopped green onions. Put those on top. Also, for a little color and a little texture, we've got some chopped red bell pepper. And what would a sesame noodle dish be without sesame seeds? And there you have it. This is John Shields, Ginger Chicken Sesame Noodles, my take on it. His uh, is delicious. I like mine. I would suggest going to John's channel and checking out some of his great recipes. Uh, if you're looking for quick and easy meals, he's got a lot of those on his 10 minute meal site. So I want to thank John for his, um, for his friendship. Please subscribe to our channel. Please subscribe to John's channel. We're cookingsecretsformen.com. And as always, thanks for watching.